The attorney's letter came as a deep shock to me. My Uncle Jeremy had died by his own hand. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. My initial surprise and distress passed. I considered the news. It seemed clear that Dersetto had exercised a thoroughly morbid influence on my uncle's mind. That creaking old mansion with its unusual tales, its secret library door, the ancient upstairs clock, all those occult books that my uncle could not resist reading in spite of his fragile nerves. Fate had pointed its finger. DeSetto had trapped its prey. Mr. McCarthy, the family lawyer, suggested selling the old house. I immediately opposed the idea. My duty is clear. I must go to DeSetto. I tremble at the thought of those dark corridors, those brooding portraits. Yet I am convinced that Uncle Jeremy left a note, a letter of some kind explaining his fateful decision. I remember his voice saying, Look at the piano, Emily. Look harder. Maybe the secret drawer will yield up an explanation. I have the feeling things will not be so simple. Life is a mystery containing more mysteries. Jeremy taught me that much. Now is the time to confront the mysteries. Dersetto is waiting for me. I pray that my fear is nothing more than the fruit of my imagination. Nothing will ever persuade me that my uncle was insane. But why did he? according to the police report, block the loft window with the old wardrobe.